Hi friends! Today we have one of my favorite videos to film for you all, which is a Dollar Tree haul. I love the Dollar Tree, you love the Dollar Tree, so without further ado, let's just dig right into it and see what Mama was able to find. Um, so I separated everything into like categories just to make it easier because some stuff is like random. So let's start with the Easter decor, Easter slash spring decor. Um, I have to say I was a little disappointed in my Dollar Tree. I've been watching a couple of videos where I have seen some of you hauling some great, super cute, just decor pieces for both Easter and spring. And I just didn't have that kind of luck at our Dollar Tree. So I will show you what I did get. I was going there mainly for a couple of things. One of the main things was for Easter finds. I was going to be part of a collab where we were doing a clean and decorate for Easter with more decorate for spring with me. Um, and I never ended up getting that video up because I just did not have a more uh, spring decor and I just, yeah, it just didn't happen, but it's going to happen. I actually have some stuff um, coming from Amazon and a couple of other places, so we'll get there. We're just not there yet. Okay, let's get into what Mama actually did find. Two know. hours later. First things first, I found these glittery eggs. Um, it comes with two, four, six, eight, ten. I could have just looked up top here where it says ten pieces. So it comes with a ten glittery egg. I have like these lantern pieces that we got for our, um, was it for our wedding or for our engagement party? I think it was our engagement party, I don't know. Yes, it was our engagement party. Anywho, I use them around the house during holidays. I'll decorate them so like Christmas, for example, they had a bunch of ornaments in them. So for Easter, I'm going to put these little eggs in them. And of course I love them because they are glittery and mama loves all things glitter. Just some grass, pretty basic. And then I also found these, I'm not exactly sure what you would generally do with these, but I am going to use them as placemats. So I got um, two eggs. I guess you would probably, you could just stick them anywhere around your house. And then we got the bunnies. So I got one. Oh, this bunny's miss. oh no, it's eye just isn't poked out. <laughs> I just got four, I think we have six chairs at our dining room table, but I'm not planning, we're actually planning on going out to eat for Easter. So my plan is I have Easter, um, I have spring china dishes. They were actually my parents' um, wedding set. And my plan, if you have been here for a minute, you know that one of my biggest complaints about my house is that we always use our dining room table as like a stomping ground. We have a small house and the dining room is literally right when you walk in the door. Um, my husband actually hates the table because he thinks it's too big and bulky, which it probably is, but it was my parents' table and for now it's staying. So anywho, my plan to avoid just throwing things on top of that table consistently is to actually have the table set with um, the dishes and the place mats. And no one's gonna just throw stuff on top of China dishes, are they? Let's hope not. Then I also, my sister and I went together and she spotted this right away, a little Easter basket that says princess for little Miss Shayla. I'm not planning on going crazy for her for Easter. Maybe I'll do a video on what we um, end up getting her for Easter if I get everything, if I get my ducks in a row before it's actually Easter time. Um, but I mean, she obviously she's gonna be one in May, so she's not eating candy yet or anything like that, but just little probably bubbles and stuffed animals and things like that. But that's a whole other video. And then last but not least, again, if you've been with me for a minute, this is kind of funny because I complained about, I did a Christmas, um, when I did my Christmas Dollar Tree haul, I mentioned that I sent my husband to the Dollar Tree on his own and told him to surprise me and just pick up something Christmassy. And in the back of my head, I was hoping, oh, please don't pick up the signs because what are we going to do with those signs? Don't pick up the signs. And he ended up picking up three signs. <laughs> but I ended up finding a perfect spot for them and I thought it was super cute. So following that, Mama actually ended up picking up some signs too. So here's the first one. It says, we believe in the Easter Bunny. I thought this was super cute. Of course, again with the sparkle. And another just says, happy Easter, hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. And last but not least, welcome with these cute little bunnies in the cotton bunny tails. How cute is That's all I have for Easter decor. Um, they did have a couple of other things, but I just really wasn't feeling it. So moving right along, the next thing I'm going to show you is a couple of items I picked up for a VIP kid. Um, I don't know if this video is going up before or after I do my mom's side hustle videos. 
video. Um, if it is up already, then you have heard me talk about that I just started working for VIP Kid. If it's not up yet, I will have my, I just started a Facebook group um, where I'm sharing information and helping anybody who is interested in possibly becoming a teacher for VIP Kid also. So I will have that linked below. If the video is already up, I will also have that linked either above or below. So I picked up, and if you're not familiar with VIP Kid, really quickly, it is basically what it is is that you are a teaching English as a second language to little kiddos in China over the, via the internet. It's, it's tons of fun. The kids are so stinking cute, but you do need props since it's done over the internet, you wanna keep these kids attend the kids' attention, and not to mention that these kids are already in school all day and have tons of homework, so you wanna make their time with you fun and entertaining. So I picked up these flashcards. These are math flashcards with numbers. I already have um, ABCs and another set of flashcards from the dollar store of um, just random words, so I thought the math would be, math cards would be good as well when we're going over numbers and things like that. And I also picked up these little trophies to use as rewards. When you're doing the lesson with the students, they like you to give little rewards throughout the lesson, kind of to, you know, keep them engaged. And I thought these trophies would be so cute, especially for um, assessments, which I'm confusing you already. It, again, if you're interested, click down below, look at the link down below and I will talk more about VIP Kid with you. And in that same kind of category, I also found these little coins. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use them yet, but I just thought for a dollar, they seemed reward worthy. So I picked these up as well. And then I also picked up these little um, emoji <laughs> face sticks here. A lot of times you say to the children, you know, are you happy, happy? And this would be a great prop, they would love it. But last but not least, I think I'm going to use when it comes to VIP Kid is this little weekly planner. It's a, um, ma has a magnet on the back and I thought, perfect, I can just write, <coughs> be perfect to just write my schedule. Another thing that happens with the kids too is sometimes their parents can cancel class and sometimes your classes change. So since it's a dry erase board, it's easy to just kind of make those changes when they happen because sometimes that's just out of your control. Okay, so last but not least, let's move on to the kind of random category. Actually, no, I have, well, I have one ran I have random category and then I have a couple of things for um, like organization. So we'll do speed round with the random. Clorox wipes. Some thank you notes that I thought I could um, use for my other business. Uh, I also sell Perfectly Posh. If you're not familiar with Perfectly Posh, I will also have that link below my Facebook group as well as my website. They can check out all of our products. We are a nat all natural based pampering company. All your face washes, your cleansers, your body lotions, your serums, your toners, um, such great stuff. And I'm all about self care this year. So little thank you notes I thought would be perfect to send to my customers as well as to new customers that I send samples out to. Um, I love sending samples to people because that is what made me fall in love with Perfectly Posh. Initially, I just had um, one of my friends was having a party, sent me some samples. I literally fell in love with the product. So if you're interested in getting some samples from me, comment below with your um, skin type or just send me your email address or say interested and I can get in touch with you to find out your um, kind of skin type, find out your skin type and make sure that I send you um, products that would actually benefit you. But yeah, so the, that's what these are for. I also got this little um, wall sticker, wall decal I thought would be cute for Shayla's room. You can see it here, it just ends up looking like this. It says, hello world, kind of goes with the theme of her room. Spoons. Completely random, but I have no idea where our spoons have gone. You know how like you can't find socks, they go missing in the dryer? That is what's been happening to our spoons lately. It, it's a mystery. It literally is only me, my husband, and the baby that live here. So Shayla's not using these spoons. It's just me and my husband. Where are they going? Where? Where have they gone? Then I just picked up these set of little plastic bowls. I thought they'd be perfect for Shayla. Um, it's a set of four. I also picked up this candle, mostly because I was obsessed with what it looks like. It's that, it's a marble. Um, this, let me see, what's the scent? The scent is spiced tea toddy, so not exactly a spring scent, but I, like I said, was just so in love with the marble um, cup that it's inside of. Marble cup. The cup? Would you call this a cup? Marble container? Anywho, um, technically, yes, this is not a spring scent. However, I don't know if you probably can't see what's going on behind me right now, but it's snowing. So 
I guess we're gonna keep those winter feels a little bit longer, even though I want the rest of my house to say spring, because I am so ready to say goodbye winter and hello spring. And last but not least, this mama has no time for, I keep saying last but not least, and then it's not the last thing. Why do I keep doing that? Uh, Mama has no time for manicures these days, so I picked up a nail polish really quick. This is just the Wet n Wild um, in Tickled Pink. I thought it would be a nice color for spring, nice light like blush pink, and then some top coat to go with. Now really, last but not least, I just wanna show you a couple of organizational things that I picked up. I love this color pink. I know around this time is usually when Dollar Tree comes out with kind of like their spring line of their organization pieces. And this is one of the colors that comes out around this time. So I love this kind of like magenta pink, especially for all things for Shayla. I have to organize her. We have like a separate cabinet that we use just for her. And so I'm thinking, um, I'm just gonna use this in her cabinet because I really have to get that organized. And then this color I'm obsessed with. So I'm gonna use these for my entire, um, inside my kitchen I have like a big pan, they have two pantries next to the um, refrigerator is in between these two pantries and they need to be organized. So I thought perfect for spring. I'm gonna use this color for the entire side of the cabinets for kitchen. Two of these baskets, and then I got three in this size. I got three of these bigger, deeper baskets. In my head, I have no idea exactly what I'm putting where. I figured I would just <laughs> load up on the organizational pieces and then figure it out as I go. So if you're interested in seeing how I organize my pantry, uh, stay tuned. Make sure to like and subscribe because that video will be coming up soon. I think March and spring is gonna be dedicated a lot to kind of spring cleaning and, um, oh my God, what's the other thing? Decluttering, I never ever did my decluttering in February like I wanted to, so we've gotta get moving with that. I don't know what happened to me in January and February. Blame it on the seasons. I think I have like seasonal depression or something going on, but now that even though it's snowing today, I know that spring is on the horizon. It's starting to get lighter earlier, starting to get a little more pep in my step, be a little more organized. Um, I want to dedicate more of my time and energy to this channel because I really do enjoy doing it. It is more of a hobby for me, but it's fun and I, and I like it and I enjoy it and I enjoy connecting with my other YouTube mamas on here that I have met. So again, if you enjoyed this video, if you wanna see future Dollar Tree videos, make sure to give this a like, thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know below what are some of your favorite finds that you are finding at the Dollar Tree so far for Easter because Mama is sadly disappointed. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.